Hey guys, Cosard here, and welcome back to more. I almost said Advance Wars, and <laughs> this is Dark Souls. Um, so, last time we went through Blight Town and got down to the bonfire in the swamp, I quickly leveled up my dexterity by one point with the souls I had. Just because I can, trust me, it feels so nice to do that. Just such a little. Oh, is this, oh no, it's not. Just such a little amount of souls to level up, it feels really good considering. Uh, I was recently playing my new game plus to this. Oh, no, it's not. Not a mimic. Recently playing my new game. Alright, I'm trying to get my pillage. Dragon scale. Um, playing my new game plus, but and it takes like 60 or thousand souls to level up, and it's like, oh god. It's nice to just, oh, just gonna stick a level up in here. Yep, just I can. And I uh, upgraded, uh, not upgraded my equipment, strengthened my equipment. And on we go. So, now we are down here. Yeah, I also made, oh, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's pop an extra humanity or two. Feeling a bit low. Nah, just just one humanity if we do. We'll be good. Um, and so now we're going to explore the Swamp of Blight Sound. Ugh. It's not a nice place, especially with all the uh, poison and stuff like that you get. But with the Rusted Ring, the place this place isn't that bad. Uh, it's a hot spot. It's a hot bed of invasions, though. So be wary. Get ready to be invaded. If you get poisoned, which I'm about to do. Um, then I recommend not bothering to heal it up um, unless needs be. Um, just because of the sheer fact it's you're going to get poisoned again. Um, I mean, oh shit, that was a lot of stuff following me. Come on then, get that. I need to. You need to get down lower than that. Fly, fly, fine, fly. Screw you, fly. Now I know around here there is an NPC invasion and I definitely want to complete this NPC invasion because completing it actually gets us an NPC summon for the next boss fight which is something um, I really want but I can't remember exactly whereabouts to trigger it. Now over here we have a worm! Now these worms very easy to kill Oh, I didn't put my glove on. I thought I put my glove on. Very easy to kill, and they if you they have been known to drop large titanite shards, and obviously, as that's what we all need to upgrade ourselves, um, especially now we're at plus six or seven Uchi Katana and stuff like that. What's all the pyromancy stuff in case you didn't get it and you wanted some extra poison resist for this area, come over here. Come on, quick chug. Say, not worried about the poison at all, <clears throat> because well, it also automatically heals at bonfire does poison and toxic, so don't worry too much. Um, is it worth me going over there a bit more? So well, let's go to this far side first. Um, now we came down over there, so that place has been explored fully. These dragonflies will just constantly spawn all around you, so don't get too worried. Um, that like I say, at this point they should be. If I could hit them, one hit, one kill. Uh, and poison, like you see, doesn't do a lot. Toxic, on the other hand, does a lot more damage. So if you are toxic, make sure to heal that. But the swamp is only poison; it's not toxic. So do not worry. Now, around this corner, we should be running into more um, thingy bobs. Now, a lot of people say if you want in this area, you could. Um, so what I'm looking for? Um, grind for large titanite shards to upgrade your equipment. I'm not going to bother doing that because it's. You can buy them eventually, and eventually we will be able to buy them. And our equipment right now is good enough for what we're going to be doing. There isn't anything drastically hard. And oh shit! There isn't anything drastically hard. And like I said, look at this. One hit of my Yuki Tana right now. Oh, did you, uh, oh he, whoa! Okay, that was a lot of green titanite. Um, green titanite's like sorcery stuff, I believe. Um, mm, I will take that to the bank. Anyway, if you keep coming over here, we can go around this corner. There's just there's just more things. My poison's about to run out, but I'm probably just going to get poisoned again, so not the end of the world. Um, now, more, more of these worms. Oh, got little clips there. That's alright. They give you 100 souls apiece as well, these worms, so they're not that bad in terms of soul growth. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, shit. Didn't see you there. Attract 
the attention of one. Oh, there's there's a large Titanite I just found on the floor. Now, the higher ugh, the higher humanity is, remember, the more your item find will increase. So, if you are wanting to grind out this area, I'd suggest. Oh no! That guy dropped something, and I just knocked him into the wall. No! Oh, bollocks. oh well. Uh, yeah, recommend boosting your humanity to ten. And uh, 10 will give you the most benefit. Any higher doesn't change anything, so don't worry about putting it any higher than that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be grinding here. See, last time I tried. I'm not going to be grinding here. If I do get any, excellent. I probably will use them at the bonfire myself. Well, actually, no, you have to take them to Andre. So, if you do get some large Titanite shards, and you're thinking, I want to now use these large Titanite shards to upgrade my equipment. You will have to climb out of Blight Town and go back to Andre of Astoria in the Undead Parish. All the way up there. Up there. Yeah? Yeah. See, there's no point. Um, it's such a difference. Well, later on, you will have an ability that lets you get up there much, much quicker. You can always take the back exit out and then go up through filing. Oh, I pushed him out the other side. Excellent. Um, mm, which sends you up through filing. I'm going to have to snort really badly. Excuse me. No, it's a future self. Cut that. Anyway, um, so yeah, there will be a quicker way of getting up and out um, soon. But we're also going to explore this tree that we've been walking around. Now, this tree goes down to my favourite area of the game. Um, not in terms of just stuff that's in it, more in terms of an aesthetic. It is the most beautiful place in this game. Oh, the look at the frame rate. Oh, oh. Dirty frame rate. I have been spoiled by PC gaming recently. Slowly but surely getting more into PC gaming, and with the announcement of the Xbox One, I'm definitely more going to be into PC gaming, and also Sony, um, just because of the sheer fact there were some things in that press conference I did not like, and I guess they could, I guess they just dropped five between time, I that's okay. Um, but uh, that, that's not, that's neither here nor there for discussion. Um, let's go up here first. Yeah, yeah, let's go up here first. So this leads us to Ash Lake, which will be, is my favourite game in the area in terms of the looks. Um, my other favourite area in terms of like atmosphere and stuff like that, Painted Girl of Aramis is pretty good. So if you come in here, we get the plank shield and you're like, okay, that's all there is in there. No! There is a hidden wall through which there is another chest, which is not a mimic, I believe? No. Thank God. And in that we get twin humanity and you're like, okay, that must be all the secrets. Nope! Ah, see, ta-da! Double secret area. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? No, you did not. And this takes us to the Great Hollow. Now, the Great Hollow is a multi-tiered dungeon-esque area thing, um, with like lots of things on this and that and other, and it's a pain in the ass. I don't like it. Um, I've only ever I, I only go down it, and then I only go down it later on when I've got an ability to get back up much quicker later on. I'm going to die from poison if I'm not quick. No, oh, no, and so we can light this bonfire. Whoop. I'm not going to waste the humanity on it now to um, kindle it. Um, I'm just going to activate it for now. Uh, we can't warp there, but the one at the bottom, you can warp from it. And the one at the bottom in Ash Lake, um, you can warp to and from because it's to do with the Covenant. So, great stuff. Uh, now we've activated that, we're going to leave. I'm, like I say, not going down the Great Hollow until later. We will have the ability to get out a lot quicker and a lot easier. And it'll just be much better for my sanity. So if you go down, then you've got to climb back up. And the Great Hollow, getting... Down it's easy, but getting back up is a pain in the ass. Massive pain in the ass, so we won't be going there. Yet. So let's finish exploring the Blight Town Swamp. Um, can I get a... Yes, I can. Plunging attack. Um, may as well get poisoned, because you know, it's. I, I mean, I like to be one of the cool kids that's always poisoned. Yes, yeah, poison. Mm. Uh, and so, now there's just the far side to explore now, uh, which is on the way to the boss, but like I say, I want to activate this NPC fight, and uh, for it, I'm probably going to heal off my blooming, uh, blooming? Blooming. I'm going to heal off my uh, <laughs> poison with a, blue, with a moss clump, not a blooming moss clump, because they're toxic. So let's kill these guys. No, let's not kill these guys. Run away, run away. Don't like any anything you've got to say to me. In fact, I'm going to head straight for the bonfire again, just so that's where we'll get walked back to if we inevitably die, which we I, which I hope we won't. 
Oh, hello, good sir. You must be exploring the area with me. Oh, this is so inside. Oh, no, no. Not yet, not yet. In, in a bit, in a bit we will. But, like I say, I want to finish up my business here before we go take on the boss. Mm. Mm. You did. Oh, flies, they're everywhere. God damn these flies. So if you come over here, what? Chop. You don't chop. Um, I think it's around this pillar. We will activate. Ah, there she is, Manita Mildred. Uh, she is um, a NPC, so she will always invade around here if you are um, of the incl inclination of. Whoop! Now, as you can see, she is pretty well protected against fire. So it's a good idea. Oh, I don't know if she's protected against fire if I just hit her when she was blocking. But she's also super easy. So with Mildred dead, it's like, haha, gutted Mildred. And you're like, yeah, I get 8,000 souls, which is a lot of souls. And we also pick up some humanity and some more humanity and a butcher knife. But this also unlocks her for use for the bo upcoming boss battle. So uh, it's pretty important, actually, I'd say that you, uh, you do kill her. Um, she is a massive help in the boss battle due to the fact that she just basically tanks the boss. She can just sit there and take it. Is that a dude? That is a dude. This is the way we'll get out of Black Time. This is where you come down from the back entrance, uh, down this like uh, water wheel structure. So um, this might look familiar if you came in the back door. I think it's just a simple walk to the left to get out. So it's a jump to the left, and then a step to the right. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting the time warp. But let's do the time warp again. What, what a song! Dun, 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 dun. And now around here. God, all these flies, shoe fly, don't bother me. Now, we're going to start running into some more big, fuck you fat guys around here. Whoop. Oh, actually, that, should we go... So, well, let's, 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 let's head over to her first. So, over here, we have another NPC. She's a shop. Don't mind if you get poison, because talking to mm. her will freeze any damage you get from poison, I, I believe. I am not often revealed to walk as a... No, it's not freezing. It's not freezing for poison damage. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? I oh, am. Um, I don't know who Salomon is, but yes, I will. Yes, of course. I want more pyromancy. Now, talking to this woman here means Laurentus of the Great people. Swamp up in Violin will next time ask you, where did you get this pyromancy from? And you'll tell him, Light Town, and he'll come down here and turn hollow. Um, so if you want to, you make sure you've bought um, a lot of... All the stuff you want of him. Oh, great combustion. Yes, I will buy great combustion. Um, but that's it. You can also modify your equipment with it. She can also ascend it even higher. Um, now go. Lest my time. Right, let me just quickly heal off the poison so I don't die while I'm talking to you. Because so what I want to do. I no, don't want to go two handed. I want to <clears throat> burst down one of these. A large souls of a proud knight. <coughs> and upgrade my glove. Just a little bit more. Just, ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. So she can take it to plus 15, and then she can ascend it on this one again to be a plus one higher grade, and then that'll go to plus five. Now, so she is pretty That's damn right. good um, if you're a pyromancy like myself. Now, I think there's just this item here, which is another large time actually. There is nothing over there. Those guys over there will throw their rocks at you if you get too close, so let's, let's try and stay away from that, shall we? And we're going to head over here and take on this guy with the rock. And I might go attune my magic as well before the next part. Yes, I know, I'm poisoned. I'm always poisoned. It's the Blight Town Swamp. You're not poisoned, you're not doing it right. So these guys hurt like hell if they hit you with, your rock, with a rock. And they also do this weird attack where they sort of push the rock along. Um, it's a pain in the ass attack. But when you kill them, you kill them and they drop stuff. Oh, pickaxe, that's new. Okay. So, come on then. Yeah. I can backstab you though. Oh, right in the anus. Oh, that's gusting. He does still pick up his rock though. Ow! Okay. Let's not try that again, shall we? Chug, chug, chug. Dung pies, I, I think you throw them at enemies and they sort of get blinded or something. Don't know, never really use them. Not going to use them. I think they're just for a bit of a laugh. 
Uh, no way we can get the great club. I swear the thief gear is down here somewhere. But I haven't been able to find it. Um, let's do a little bit more exploring. We've got a little bit more time to give. And then uh, we're going to go take on the boss next episode. Um, so let's, let's have a quick nosy around these corners. And if I can't find it, oh well. We'll just go heal up. End the video. And get ready for next time. Unless it was that wandering gear. I think it was that wandering gear. So let's head back to the bonfire. Hoof it! So make sure you're human, obviously, if you want to uh, get the help from Mildred. I'm probably going to summon some dudes for help. Uh, and so next time, we will um, take on the boss of the Second Bell and of Blight Town and the Swamp and everything like that. Uh, Quilag. Um, can I actually do anything with my Uchikitana? Um, oh, I can. All right. Well, let's let's up my Uchikitana while we're here. Um, still shot another large Titanite shard. Um, can I reinforce my armor anymore? Uh, oh, I can. What have we got? Um, I'd rather save me stuff for later because the aim is not to get hit with this next box. Actually, quickly nestle back at the rest. So this has been Cold Snap. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll go take on Q Like. Catch you on the flip side. Creepy spider! Half! Sexy lady! Om, 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 om.